If most of the world could switch to electric vehicles, it would certainly help in reducing our carbon footprint. But there is no magic cure for the climate crisis. The world needs more solutions to mitigate the dangers of global warming. One such is the carbon capture technology. It is seen as a promising solution, but can it bring about a significant change? Let's find out. Carbon dioxide emissions from the burning of fossil fuels and from industrial agriculture are the main causes of climate change. Look at this technology from Israeli startup High Hopes Labs. The company uses a ballooning technology, a system that captures the carbon where it's almost solidified, far above the earth. It hopes to send fleets of balloons that will capture carbon directly from the air in high altitude. The beautiful thing is that capturing gas uh, is very easy when it's close to freezing temperature. So imagine uh, when you wake up in the morning, in a winter uh, morning, and you see a layer of, of uh, thin ice on the leaves, and it's very easy to capture. The same thing is with the uh, carbon. Carbon is freezing in minus 80 degrees. And the only place that we can find carbon in, a temper in temperature close to that is 50 kilometers beyond uh, our, uh, above our head. And while we get it there, with uh, with balloon, uh, we can grasp, we can capture the 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 carbon much more easily and without with much less efforts and uh, process. The frozen carbon then falls back to earth, where it can be recycled for industrial use. The company aims to build larger balloons within two years that could be deployed to remove a ton of carbon a day at a cost of below $100. A Swiss startup is also attempting to fight the dangers of climate change with its new technology. Climbworks has installed a series of fans to metal structures in Iceland. Climbworks AG partnered with carbon storage company Carbfix for this project. The plant, named Orca after the Icelandic word Orca, meaning energy, consists of four units, each made up of two metal boxes that look like shipping containers. Operators say the Orca plant can suck 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide out of the air every year and inject it deep into the ground to be mineralized. While this plant is still a prototype, the question is, is it scalable? The plant reportedly costs between 10 to 15 million dollars to build. Removing carbon using this technology currently costs about 500 to 600 dollars per ton. To be economically viable, this figure needs to be brought down to 100 dollars per ton. Direct air capture is one of the few technologies extracting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. There is little doubt that it is being viewed by scientists as vital to limit global warming. But look at these figures. There are currently 15 direct air capture plants in the world. Together, they suck about 9,000 tons of carbon dioxide a year out of the sky. Sounds impressive. That is only above the amount that comes out of the tailpipes of 2,000 cars in one year. Clearly, there is no silver bullet to protect the climate as yet.